Hello gamers and good day everybody. Today we're going to talk about the truth behind the earthquakes in GTA San Andreas game and prove or disprove the myth. The game is with us since the October 2004 which is almost 19 years and even today in this game there are many unsolved or unexplained things. Who would have thought that Rockstar Games developers was thinking at the smallest details during the development of their games? Well, let's don't waste time and move to the point of this video. I am pretty sure that all of you already noticed that, but all over the San Andreas state are signs of damaged and devastated buildings and places. All of this probably happened because of earthquake. I guess you ask, how do I know this? The earthquake is actually mentioned in Games Manual. Let's check it in depth a bit. This is original manual to GTA San Andreas game from Rockstar Games developers. And on this page, we can learn interesting things about what happened in Doherty in San Fierro, which is a second city in San Andreas State. The manual says that in San Fierro, there was an earthquake in 1988, and the Doherty district was devastated by an earthquake that leveled several blocks and a countless number of properties. Interestingly, there was a real earthquake in San Francisco in real life, but that happened not in 1988, but in 1989, and it was the most powerful in several years. Interesting, right? Let's look at specific examples where earthquake in GTA San Andreas most probably happened. Behind CJ's garage in a Doherty, we can find a collapsed building, just like in Games Manual. Many buildings are collapsed here and in a, in a state of disrepair. I must admit that it looks quite scary at night and in a foggy weather, but let's move to next visible signs of the earthquake's aftermath. I am sure you all remember this bridge pretty well because of the story mission for Catalina happened here. It is located in Palomino Creek, and the bridge is destroyed probably due to earthquake. At the bottom of San Fierro Bay we can encounter a huge submarine fault. This is one of the more obscure earthquake evidences in the game. This fault actually exists in the real world and is even called San Andreas. It is a tectonic fault located in California, USA, separating the western part of California from the rest of the continental USA. In a desert of Bone County, we can find a large rock formation which was broken in half. This could happen by the earthquake. As a result of the earthquake that occurred here may also be a highway which is collapsed and in a state of disrepair. This highway is located in San Fierro behind the San Fierro Police Department and next to the Garver Bridge. But this unfinished highway can be just a result of developers' decision that they cut it out during a development in the beta stage of GTA San Andreas game. This theory is suggested by the beta map found in the little bar nearby Area 69 or in Mike Torino's ranch in Tierra Robada. On this in-game map, we can see many strange dots, and this map definitely looks different from the original map that was included with Game Case. But about these maps' differences, we can talk later, friends. Anyway, there are no earthquakes occur during gameplay, but we can find some mods which are making an earthquake simulation in the game. So according to many proofs, and thanks to the game manual, we can say the myth about the earthquake happening in San Andreas is proven, but only as an history act, and no other earthquakes don't happen during the game. For more interesting videos, be sure to subscribe and follow my YouTube channel. Also, let me know in comments if you encountered in GTA games something, um, unexplainable. Thanks for watching and see you next time.